Sunday morning. It's about 47 degrees. Um, I've been up for about three hours. It's about 1030 now. We've had a few incidences this morning <laughs> with the dogs. But I think everyone's okay now. Um, yeah, I did manage to have a shower and wash my hair. And now I'm outside for a second. I don't know if you guys just heard, but we have ducks behind in the, I don't know. It's kind of a swamp, honestly, back there. But we have ducks back there. They only live here in the like fall and winter time. They don't live here year round. They go somewhere else. So I hear that they're back. So that's awesome. So maybe I'll get some footage of them possibly. And I want to show you guys my lemon tree because the lemons are starting to yellow. So hold on. Look at my lemon. It's starting to get yellow. I'm so excited. So that one's starting to yellow. That one's not really yet, but I suspect it'll happen soon. This one, yeah, not so much on him either. So it's just the one, wherever it is over here. But super exciting. Very, very exciting. So anyway, that's my lemon progress. So that's cool. Um, I think we're just gonna hang out today, most of the day. We're gonna have pizza later. I might have that porter beer. I think we have a porter in there that's really good for cold weather. So we might have that on the porch and bring the heated blanket out with the puppies. So basically not much going on. Oh, last night I finished clue one of my MCAL. Yay! And I started on clue two. And so I feel like happy about my life right now so hopefully I'll work on that some too I didn't put a square in my blanket or work on anything at all yesterday so other than my MCAL so hopefully I can repeat that process today and finish part of clue too this is kind of a random thing to do but I need to go bring those plants in my hibiscus and stuff that's on the front porch problem is there's a lizard that's living in the pot for the hibiscus so I'm gonna have to like look and see if he's still in there. I don't want to move it if it's living in there because that's kind of crappy, you know, and it's cold. So I'm going to go look and check that out and hopefully bring my hibiscus in because it really needs to be in the house. Let's check for lizards. So I don't see him. I don't know. I'm afraid if I pull this pot up, he's going to be in there and I'm going to smush him. But I have to move it. So my other thing I have out here is the hellbore, and hellbore is actually fine out in the winter, so it blooms in the winter, so that's actually fine. It has some funky stuff happening, but it's actually fine in the winter time. So the lizard was not in the plant, so what I did was I took the plant out of its, you know, the bigger container, and I dumped that out to make sure the lizard wasn't in there. And then I dumped the actual whole entire plant out kind of and just got all those dead leaves and stuff off of there and I put some new dirt in there with it um, just so it had enough because it was kind of you know whenever you do that you obviously knock out a lot of dirt so so far so good and then this thing um, I don't even know what this is honestly but I don't know anyway it needed to be repotted in a few places so this plant is so weird you guys so <laughs> let me find a piece of this thing so it has these things like this they're like almost like roots I don't know what they are I don't know if you can see this but it's like a big root thing it's like a really big stick piece I don't know anyway had a bunch of those growing over the sides so I repotted three of them so I put two over here in this little pot with some dirt. And I did one over there. And hopefully that'll make it live. I don't know. Um, I need to really go through and repot more of this, but I just didn't have enough dirt. I only had a little tiny amount of dirt. So yeah, that's what has happened with the plants. And uh, they're sitting on plastic and like a Rubbermaid lid <laughs> because I had to water them and I didn't want it to get on my floor and you know ruin my floor. We got pizza for lunch. This pizza has portobello mushrooms, onion, green pepper, basil, teriyaki tempeh, and vegan cheese, and then no butter and no parmesan crust. And it looks awesome. 
yummy last snow coconut coffee porter. It's perfect for a cold day. working on my what is this thing called texture time I always want to just call it the MCAL anyway I've been working on the Stephen West knits 2018 MCAL which is called texture time I finally have the name for it <laughs> and I have made significant progress since I showed you guys last so I'm gonna show you really quick so if you don't want to see cover your eyes so I finished section one last night and then I started section two so this is section two and I had to learn how to do this part. Um, I don't really want to say too much about it because if somebody's watching and they have their eyes covered, I don't want to say anything about it, but I'd never done this before right here on this part, so that was really fun to learn. Um, but I'm loving how it's turning out. I'm loving the colors together and how they're playing together. I'm very, very happy with it. And Oscar's laying right here and Bella's laying right there. And Lambie's up there with her blanket. <laughs> and as I was telling you guys that, I realized you might not know who Lambie is. So Lambie is Bella's lamb that she sleeps with. Um, she basically just uses it as a pillow. So this is Lambie. We're under a frost advisory, so I had to bring my lemon tree in tonight. I think that's basically gonna be it for the day. Only thing we're gonna do for the rest of the night, we might watch a movie or either some Better Call Saul or possibly watch whatever football game is coming on tonight. I don't know yet. We're gonna eat dinner in a minute, which is gonna be leftover pizza and I'm gonna knit. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching Vlogtober and I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I love making these, so thank you for watching.